to where am I? Alright, so we are at P4 LMD in Paris. It's our new gallery that um, Evan Sugarman and I open together. We show parts of four, P4 home, and uh, Rick Owens, among other amazing artists that deal with avant garde aesthetics and things that are you know, in the sense that the fashion community dresses. We kind of complete with these artists and these designers the rest of the circle, which is the lifestyle. It's very important that we work in the manner of this artisanal pieces that are not machine made, everything that is made by hand. So we go to the ancient techniques, uh, the bronze, the casting, the wood carving, um, chains that are completely carved out of wood that are seamless, nothing that's connected. I have them right here. So we've got these black chains that are black wood, one solid piece. The only connection you've got is right here at the end. And this entire piece is carved out of single piece of wood. So it starts right here with solid. It gets reduced, reduced, reduced to a point where it's a chain. No glue. It's about purity of the material. And that's the mission of the gallery is for all the artists that are here uh, to be very much pure to what they do and nothing that is commercial. And that's something that we try to stay away from as much as we possibly can. Crystals are, of course, our big magic because we believe in working with these natural elements that are not in any way men polished they're not um, grown. This is how they come out in the nature. And that's something that is uh, very seductive to us. We really, really, really like these pieces. And this is how it all started with Parts of Four collection that translated to the P4H home line, which was taking this smaller version and exploding it on a large scale with a light element. So that's how we introduced the jewelry from the object that you wear to an object you live around with. And there's an example right here in bronze and quartz. We do pieces that are editions, so this was an edition of 12, but each piece actually is a piece unique because each crystal has its own identity, each crystal uh, is completely different than the way that it captures the light and then the shape of it because we don't cut them in any way to fit them into this armature, the armature gets built around to fit the crystal. And where is the actual light? The light is hidden inside of the top mm -hmm. part of the armature and it's a LED based light so we didn't want something that would overheat and you know if you want this on all the time you have to kind of go with LED so this is where technology kind of enters into what we do however we still keep this very you know very noble um, sculptural object that also is functional but it's you know it's, it's almost like a light that could have been somewhere from an ancient um, Rome or ancient Greece and that's, that's what we love, is going back. And of course we show uh, Rick Owens home collection and uh, these particular ones um, are the mink drapes that Michelle and Rick designed that are made in the atelier that makes all the hand first. So this is the most delicate material <coughs> statement and I personally fell in love with them because I thought that this was just there's nothing else that you can do wrong. And just the work itself is uh, so strong because it goes to what I just talked about. The materials that are, that are pure. The plywood that sometimes is discarded. I like how the plywood itself actually becomes this very noble material. To bronze, to concrete, and um, everything kind of in between. But it's, it's these shapes that are not in any way contrived. They're not something that is trendy. It's something that Rick really loves and this really comes out from him. It's nothing that it has a style of anybody's work. So he's definitely a visionary that I love and um, admire so much for his way of stepping outside of this comfort zone that most people have. This is one of my favorite pieces, the large urn. And what's interesting too is that the bronze type that is used for this urn is the same as uh, you use for the bells for churches. So you can actually hear this beautiful sound. And it's little stories like that that really make everything special. 
again going back to the chains, this is a very rare citrine quartz, which is almost hard and impossible to find. Uh, Evan just came back from Japan and uh, did a buying trip trying to find these crystals. Crystals are like real estate sometimes. It's, you can find them, sometimes it's close to impossible to find the right one. This is a very, very special piece. For this particular one, what I wanted to do in the design was to give you an option of you can hang it uh, with a swag that can be connected and you kind of play with this chain. So this becomes a sculpture that you interact with. It's a sculpture that is, is <clears throat> it's a sculpture that is kind of you know up to you how you're going to present it. And the wood, again, is like this chain. So it's a continuous piece of wood with an exception of every four feet we have a metal connector. Otherwise, this is from one single solid piece of wood. So adding that element that existed in the parts of Ford jewelry, translating it into the P4H home collection kind of completes the circle. And I like to go from point A to point Z and have all these things that you know work together. What this about is those rings and oh, the rings. So we're playing with a lot of diamonds right now. So these are all raw diamonds. And again, the signature of parts of four is this kind of hardcore knuckle buster. So it's really nice to see how you have the diamond, which sometimes is taken as the bling, in a completely different way. The bracelets are very classic. And that's something that, you know, parts of four has been doing uh, as a signature piece. However, again, we're translating these into these new vessels that we've been working on. So the bracelets essentially are taking the shapes for the new vessel. So these are prototypes that we're playing with right now and looking at the scale and sizes. And can I ask, what's the material of the bracelets? Because they're super light. Yes, the bracelets itself, they're, um, there's, it's a hollow material. Some of them are brass with gold plate. Some of them are brass. Some of them are brass with silver plate. And then the reason these finishes are in such way is because um, they're dipped in acid. So this is everything has an acid finish, which is also to a certain degree a sealer that goes onto the piece. Like the skull, for example, this is an edition of 12. This is a Puma skull. And this one also in sterling silver with the acid dip. And you can see it right over here as a hanging piece. It could be an object or it could be a hanging piece such as here right next to the pelican skull that's in sterling silver without the acid finish. Boxes. Boxes are our big thing right now too. This was kind of the, these are made out of iron. It's an inspiration from Richard Serra who is one of my favorite artists and uh, kind of looking at this uh, almost concrete shape in architecture that uh, Carlos Scarpa possesses. So these, you know, became these functional objects again. They were kind of start of the collection. And, um, we've been extremely successful with these as well. And of course, we are in the middle of uh, Paris Men's Fashion Week, so there's jewelry everywhere. We have buyers coming in, purchasing for all of their boutiques all around the world. So we're slightly messy today, but. Uh, it's part of the excitement and energy. Uh, on the table you see every single style of the bracelet and every single thing that the parts of one made. I wanted to show every single one because again, there is so much. And I love the fact that you can actually stack these bracelets because the way I like to wear them is I put one with another so it becomes another piece. It was a good weapon, I guess, yes, in the street. Especially in Paris right now. I think, it's <laughs> I think it definitely works. And when I was talking about the knuckle busters, you know, we, we go to an extreme of some of them being these big plate rings and um, you know, playing with some different textures and different materials. And, um, and uh, last, right here, is the tables, too. This is a material that we love working with. It's this uh, foam that from a distance it looks like concrete, however it's a very like weight material. So these are the new tables that we're also doing and we're working on some chairs, we're working on actually this enormous monolithic bed, which has been kind of a project where like, wow. we need to design a bed because that's the one piece that was still missing from our furniture collections. And the crosses. 
the crosses this season we're doing a lot of crosses. Uh, technically, we call them plus. However, you know, um, I think it's a really good. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Anybody in the dungeon now? No, it's empty. It's sad. <laughs> Maybe we'll tie you up in the dungeon. No, no, no. You can't. We have chains. We still have the chains downstairs, no, actually. No, no, I'm not going to be tied up. No, nobody, no, nobody in the dungeon. The dungeon is free of, of, of pets S &M at today. the moment. Okay. He was really cute, though, wasn't he? I mean, for a tied up. Yes. I mean, he was, I know, it I was, was on a, it my was, Instagram. It was kind of oh, <laughs> Thanks to someone here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Because my phone was dead. Remember? This one? Yes. Did you want it on your Instagram? Oh, it was fine. Okay. I, 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 I um, let it go. I mean, forward it is. So, we, so the cross is the, the, cross is the plus. is the big um, thing we're doing this season. And, you know, this, these ones are in 24 karat gold, just to make it a little bit more... Exciting, I guess. And, you know, usually in avant-garde community, you kind of stay away from gold. Everyone is afraid of it. Mm -hmm. But I think that it actually works great. And what I noticed this season, because we oversaturated with gold, I said, let's do a lot of it. Um, all of our clients that are hardcore, only silver, only black, ended up really warming up to the gold, and it became quite big of a success. And wow. we've, you know, presented the classes with the bolts, you know, so you still have this industrial feel to it, but, you know, the color story really, you know, changes everything and it makes it a little bit more, you know, because I said to everyone, it's, you, you're being adventurous this season by going with the gold. So these are also the knuckle busters with the gold. Right. And the finish on it is a little bit more brutalist. Mm -hmm. So it's, again, going back to things, we don't want it to be perfect, we want everything to look very true to mm -hmm. what the whole story is, yeah. Mm -hmm. And all these cuffs, too. There was an introduction of a new... Is that suede with it? Or? Yes, it's leather. It's too, my hand is too big. But this is an introduction of something very minimal, clean. And it's funny because when I look at the, um, the collections, I always say that this is ancient techno, because there is this... I like uh, that, ancient techno. There is this moment of this minimalism, this very clean, streamlined, brutalist feel, and then there is something, you know, very romantic about how these pieces are, you know, made in the ancient techniques, made in a way by these artisans, and that has, that have been done for, you know, thousands of years. So that ancient techno is kind of, I think, the, the I proper like fit. Ancient techno. We did the plus in um, the wood with the chain. It's intense. Yes. But the beauty of Medieval. this... Yes, exactly. But the beauty of these chains is that they look heavy. They They're don't light. feel heavy. Because we don't want jewelry that basically, you know, hurts you when you're wearing it. You know, a chain yeah. that will change your posture and pull you down to a bracelet <laughs> that is going to weigh your hand down. We all like wearing a lot of these things. So it's important for this to also have a function. I think that that's the important part. The Bauhaus aspect. Exactly. And, and we do the whole thing from, you know, the jewelry to the home. So that's, that's again, great. the Bauhaus in the, house. in the house. In the house. <laughs> There's are, you, are you leaving the house? No, I, no, I was just going to get some whiskey. <laughs> 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 and champagne. You want a glass of champagne? No, no. I'm a water, sure. I'm a water. water person. Yeah. Are you taking care of Do you want a glass of whiskey? champagne? Maybe some whiskey. Some whiskey. <laughs> really good it's really, it's a really good job, and I'm trying to make sure that it's it's a you know, Melissa is going to be right back. No, I was joking. No, I'm serious. Okay. He's obsessed with this whiskey. Is this Japanese whiskey that is oh, right. super, super good? I, I tasted it once. They, they had a culinary fair in Palais Royale, mm. and they had this Japanese whiskey, which actually I don't drink, but it was actually good. Yeah. I tried well, it's, it. it's quality versus quantity, so that, you know, the whiskey where you have that sip that is just perfect is, that's, that's the key. So is there a website for the gallery? Yes, um, the website is www.lmd-long-studio.com, which you'll find on the blog. Um, we show a lot of these pieces on the website right now because I also wanted to engage the international client that maybe is not able to come into Paris 
to um, here's oh, your friend here's that's been on, your friend that's been on Instagram all the time. Yes, yeah. she's one of our biggest fans. As you can see, she's already sporting the plus. Right. So, and she wears it well. Carrot cake. It's our little tradition during Fashion yeah, Week. Yeah, yeah. We have carrot cake. From, <laughs> from the Nashi. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. So good. <laughs> yeah, it's delicious. But we don't have forks. Okay. okay, perfect. So set up your shop. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's her thing. Great. So we're gonna have carrot well, cake perfect. apparently. And you know, we're very relaxed, we're loose. We're not about uh, being snotty and snobby about this stuff. It's this is we love making these things. We like to get our hands dirty and we like to have our family and friends come in here and enjoy, you know, us. So this you know, this gallery now in Wushalo is it's bigger than what's what the address on it's 38 to Wushala, and um, we moved from our smaller space to this bigger one and we are in September opening up a back gallery that is going to have a private exhibition as well so we're just in that couch is view. the couch coming I think so that's that's part of the plan to bring this massive steel and leather and bronze sofa by Lonnie White that is not only I think aesthetically one of the most beautiful ones that I've seen it actually is comfortable yeah <laughs> so, I tried it which, out Usually in this type of aesthetics, because we work with a lot of concrete, we work with a lot of metal, the furniture is you know, more visually appealing, so we have to balance it out to some pieces that actually work and function really well. So Lonnie's um, sofa, I think, achieved that purpose. Because you remember it in Chicago? I loved it. I was, you should see the atelier. Yes. It's so, a dream. 38 Rouchala, Paris, for the gallery here, online, www.lmd long slash studio.com and uh, you'll see a lot of new cool things happening. Uh, our program for the gallery is every fashion week. I'm going to recreate the gallery with a very special show. So this is kind of that mecca for everyone to come in during the fashion week and then also design days. We don't do openings every f first Friday of the month. It's going to be based on happenings in Paris so that we can create this place for all of our friends to come in and you know all the people who love what we do, so we encourage you to come in and visit us in person. Great. Thank you. Thank you.